Yes? All right. Solving two-step equations. So yesterday, we learned how to solve one-step equations. And what was the secret to solving one-step equations? We do what? The inverse. The inverse, or the opposite operation. It's the same thing with two-step equations. Okay? So let's just jump in here with an example. <coughs> What if we had 2x minus 3 equals 5? Okay. So we're still going to do the inverse, the opposite. So if I have this quantity, 2x, this is 2 times a number. So I did 2 times a number and subtracted 3. So if I subtracted 3, how do I get back to this quantity? What's the inverse of subtracting 3? Adding 3. Adding 3, okay? So we would add 3 to both sides. So now we're left with the quantity of 2 and x, 2 times x, and that's an 8. And then from yesterday, this is multiplication, the inverse is division. So x is 4. Okay. So the first thing we did was add the 3, the second thing we did was divide by 2. Notice, addition, the inverse of subtraction. Division is the inverse of the multiplication of 2 and x. So now we're just doing two steps instead of one step from yesterday. And that's it. Questions on this example? No questions. OK. I might have been a little fast, but now you guys try one. Try that. So solve this one, check with your partner. I'll give you 10 seconds. Go. You got five. All right, check with your partner, see if you agree with the answer. What'd you get? 12? 4 over 3? Uh, what else? 4 over 3. 4 over 3? Here, 4 over 3. Let's check. If this is addition. What's the inverse of addition? So we're going to subtract 4 on both sides of that equal sign. Some of you like doing this. That's fine. So we have 3x equals. 4. And 3x is multiplication, so this is 3 times x, so the inverse of multiplication is divide. division. So we're going to divide by 3. So x equals 4 over 3. All right. Are we good? Yeah. Yes. I'll give you a second to copy that down. If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. No questions? All right, you say, but Mr. G, those are easy. What if we have a fraction in there? All right? We're good? Can I read? All right. Well, if we have a fraction in there, you guys already know what to do. If I have an equation with a fraction in there, we want to get rid of this fraction. How can I eliminate that 2 right there? If, right. This is a number divided by 2. So the inverse of division is multiplication. multiplication. And I know what some of you are going to say. You're going to say, couldn't we add the 3 first? <laughs> and I'd say, yes, you could. And that's great. You could add the 3 first and then multiply by 2. No worries there. I'm just trying to train you to clear the fraction first because we're going to get into equations that have two or three fractions. And if you have an equation with two or three fractions in it, it's not as easy to start adding and subtracting fractions. So I just try teaching you from the beginning. If you have a fraction, get rid of the fraction first. Will I be upset if you add the three first? Of course not. If that's how you learned it, great. Do that. 
but I will show you. Let's multiply everything by two. Even the four? Even the four. Right? Has to be fair. Here's our equal sign. If this side is multiplied by two, this side of the equal sign also has to be multiplied by two. Otherwise, it wouldn't be equal anymore. Okay. So here, we put the one under there. What happens to the twos? We can divide those. So we get three times two, six. six. Four times two, eight. And then from there, it's a one step. What's left? What do we got to do here? Six. Add six. Add six. If this is subtraction, then we have to do the opposite. Okay. That's it. And just to show you real quick on the side. If we added the three first. What do we do here to get rid of the division? Multiply. Same thing. Okay. So if you do this, that's fine, and it works for this kind of problem. But when we have two or three fractions, it's much easier to just get rid of the fraction. Okay. Questions on that one? We need another example like that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Can I read? about this one. There's an equation with a fraction in it. All right. So we could subtract the 2 first if we wanted to. But I said get rid of the fraction. So how would we get rid of this fraction? Right? This says we took a number and divided by 3. So the opposite of dividing by 3 is multiplying by 3. So we're going to multiply by 3, multiply by 3, and multiply by 3. Every term on both sides of the equation. So 3 times 2, 6. What happens to the 3's here? They're gone. And we get this. Okay, we're good there. Then what? We're solving for x. Subtract the 6. Why would it be subtract 6? So this 6 is a positive 6. This 6, make a note of that. This is a positive 6. So we need to subtract. Okay? If that's positive, the inverse of a positive is a Negative, so the opposite of that 6 would be negative 6. There we go. So that means that x is 21. Okay. We're good? You want to try one with your partner? Alright, so here's one. With a fraction, try it with your partner. If you can do the ones with fractions, the other ones are easy. So we'll go easy on you. X over 4 plus 3 equals negative. Solve that with your partner. I'll give you 20 seconds. No, I'm kidding. 30 seconds, go. Time's up. 30 seconds have gone by. What is the answer? Anybody? 
Native 20? Anyone else? Native 20? Yes, that's what you got. I'm seeing some hands. Very good. I don't know if it's right. Let's check. Here. We have a number divided by 4. So if we have a number divided by 4, what's the inverse of dividing by 4? Multiplying. Multiplying by 4. So we're going to multiply by 4. So what happens there? Divide. 12. Negative 8. And the inverse of adding 12? Subtract 12. So it is negative 20. And that's it. Simple. Oh. <laughs>